Hey there, podcast listeners. Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to the 7th Street Bar. I'm yes. your host and bartender, Dr. Sheep. <laughs> Join my co host and bartendee. Not, I guess you're not the bartendee. You are. Uh, anonymous Phil. Drinker. Yeah, anonymous Phil. Roll the intro. Wouldn't you like to get away? It's, 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 it's Friday. Gotta, 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 gotta get down on Friday. I'm the wrong. And we're back. Yeah, we got the speaker going. Even though I'm probably not going to keep that in because it's... <laughs> but you're going to have to listen to that later anyways. So, this podcast is broken down to four parts. First, we have how our weeks have been. Then we have the coronavirus news. Then we read your comments, followed by today's main topic. Today's main topic is Belle Delphine. I brought her back? What? First segment. How was your week? Fine. How was the gin and tonic? Awful. <laughs> it does not taste good. What's tonic water taste like? I heard it's bitter. It is bitter, yes. Fun. I guess you should have just tasted straight gin. Yeah, no. I mean, is it working? Is that is that fine though? Is that drinkable? Sort of. It's still just awfully awful. Drink. I st- I still think you should have mixed the Gatorade in with it. With the, oh, maybe. Yeah. But let's finish that one because there's lime and lemon juice in there. So. And you want to get your money's worth? Yeah. Right. You have, you've <laughs> drank like that much gin. <laughs> Probably. <yeah. laughs> you haven't drank much, if any. So if you're wondering what this is about, uh, we're filming a video where we get Phil drunk. If you're just joining us for Podcast 41, which means, hey, something new. The sound bar. We always change something up every 10 podcasts, so... Well, I don't know what 51 will be. Uh, Will. <laughs> that's, that's, that's 57. Oh, my bad. <laughs> will, will will be joining and us. And Brian won't stick around very long. <laughs> he'll mess up the soundbar. Probably. Or he'll fix it, potentially. Get rid of that static. What is... Oh, is that... Oh, is that the soundbar? What? That you hear that or is that noise? I don't hear anything. You don't hear that? Nope. Are you deaf? I hear, hear that s- static. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, <laughs> there's gonna be a long pause in this thing for you to cut out. I'm not cutting it. Anyways, um, how was your week? We've been over this. It was fine. Did you debug? No. Did you meet anybody to debug? Sure. I met. I found. I s- talked to new people. Yes. And you didn't debug them. No. You're lame. My bad. Maybe the gin would be better warm. Drink more gin. Come on. <laughs> They'll open you up a little more. It's 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 awful. Well, if you drink it all, we can try a different mixture. I want to try something else right now. Finish it, and we'll, and then we'll have you just take a shot of gin. No. <laughs> you don't know what actual straight gin tastes like. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. Well, the water bottle was right. We shouldn't have picked gin. We should have picked vodka, but I didn't know gin was this bad. You yeah. didn't know. Oh, my God. This is actually torture for you, isn't it? All right. Mix the Gatorade in there. Come on. Not in this. What are you There's already that? enough stuff mixed in there. <laughs> Fine. More lime. More Fine. lime? Fine. We'll mix in our cocktails and talk about my week. All right. So my psychologist told me that I need to, well, like always, she's telling me I need to explore my feelings more. So she sent me a feelings wheel so that, you know, I can look and see, hey, what's this feeling mean? You know, what's below that? What's all in there? All right, here's a shot of gin. No. Don't no, no, just try it first, and we'll see what happens. There's, there's barely anything in there. Bottoms up. You can suck the lime afterwards. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it bad? 
Jeez. <laughs> you might want that. I know it's only one shot, but Jesus. I was not expecting that vulgar of a reaction. By the way, I'm supposed to be the silver I am the silver one here. I'm the one managing. Okay. Let's uh, head with that back up. Are you okay? That was gross. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Right, you want to go Gatorade or you want to go Pepsi? No, neither. Just pause for a while? Yeah. All right. Right. I think I'm better. Should have just stuck with the straight tonic water and gin. Yeah. All right. Never take a shot of gin. The water bottle was right. I'll be damned. Don't take a shot of gin. That was <laughs> awful. The minute it went down, it wanted back up. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know how much you've actually seen at this point, And I don't know how much I've discussed. World War Three is happening. Well, it's going to happen potentially. Is my face red? Uh, it was. It's better now. Better now. You are gonna cut all that out, right? Uh, yeah, I'll cut parts. Yeah. Oh. I can't leave the vomiting in, obviously. No. But I'll leave the rest of it in. Leave out the part. Cut out the part where I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but that was entertaining as hell. What? No. <laughs> but I mean, dude, telling the kids at home this is what happens if you drink. <laughs> Yeah, if you drink something bad, <laughs> cheap gin. there's much better stuff to drink than cheap gin. <laughs> Should we just light this on fire? We <laughs> could. Is there any point to, to keep going with this? I don't know. 100% grain natural spirits. Worst experience. In <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky. This ball's worth 15 cents. The minute it went down, I was like, oh, this is not good. This is not good. Right. So, um, I don't, I'm kind of stumped to what happened this week besides my therapist telling me to explore my feelings as per yeah. the usual. Um, so, oh, right. So I was working, so I have not had a heart attack this week, actually. Yeah. So, I go out to check for a package, because I've been expecting some packages, because I've been buying supplies for black powder. Yeah. And, um, I open up the door, and I see a package on the doorstep, mine, okay. and a yellow, sticky, written pad on the door. Mm hmm And I'm thinking to myself, what package did I order that they couldn't deliver to me? Well, then I open it. Well, no, then I pull the sticky note, and, I, and it's okay. a, and it was from the sheriff's office trying to serve the resident, which I thought was it was I thought it was at me, the resident, um, uh, some paper five two zero six I believe it was, and I was panicking, so I like I go in, I bring the package in, I'm like trying to find a number on it to call. But I just called the service office, but then as I'm calling them, I realize, oh, there's the number on there. So I hang up, I call them, and then as I'm talking to them, give my address, give my name, I realize, oh, it's not my name at the top. It's one of the previous owners of the house. Oh, really? Like, one of the last two owners. And so I'm like, yeah, they don't live here. They haven't lived here probably a long time. Mm -hmm. So I had this mild heart attack. I had no idea what this was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I was like, oh my god, alright. Uh, but, you know, I was panicking. If I just, like, slowed down and read it, I would have realized, oh, this isn't that big of a deal. I'll just call the office, tell him, hey, you put this here, but he doesn't live here or whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. that had a heart attack there. And then, I uh, so that package I got had four pounds of potassium nitrate, which is what I ordered, and two pounds of sulfur. Now, I knew I ordered two pounds of sulfur, so I figured yeah. that was two pounds of sulfur. So I figured, okay, I'm waiting on my three pounds of charcoal I ordered. Mm -hmm. 
I get in the mail two pounds of sulfur. And I'm like, um, what? What happened to my charcoal? Well, those two pounds of sulfur I got, the, yes. the, the first two pounds, were supposed to be three pounds of charcoal. So now I have four pounds of sulfur, four pounds of potassium nitrate. And I'm like, um, what am I supposed to do with this? So, sulfur smells, by the way, doesn't it? Doesn't it have a really bad odor? Uh, sulfur dioxide or salt, yeah. Oh, not just straight up, just sulfur. Doesn't... I mean, it might smell a little bit. Oh, you haven't, you you haven't opened it? it. No, I haven't opened it. I have no, no reason to open the sulfur. No. Anyways, so I was like, okay, I'll contact the company. I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll send out the package, the new package. Okay. Well, then I thought about it. I'm like, are they sending me like the whole new package? So like potassium nitrate and charcoal, or just charcoal? Yeah. So I looked it up the other night. Oh, no, it's the whole package for free. Oh, wow. So now I'm going to end up with eight pounds of potassium nitrate, four pounds of sulfur, and three pounds of charcoal. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with all this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, dynamite. My, oh, my God. No, no, that wouldn't make dynamite. But I'm like, oh, my God. What do you need to make dynamite? Gunpowder and nitroglycerin? No, you don't use gunpowder. Oh, what do you use for di- what are you using dynamite? Oh, it's a Cody's lab question, but you but he got in trouble last time he made nitroglycerin, so I don't remember. Oh really? They flagged his video? Uh well no, the government's like, hey yeah, you can't be doing that. <laughs> oh really? Well, Outback told me how to make ampho. It's only kerosene and freaking uh pretty sure it's urea, but whatever. Hmm. Which I realized you could buy online from Alpha Chemicals very easily. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get urea for something else. Did you buy a uh, Neptunium? No. On Amazon? No. I'm sure we could probably make some if we really wanted to. I'd like to buy some radioactive Neptunium. I'm sure we could go on eBay, <laughs> find some radioactive uh, isotopes and stuff, make a target, and bombard it with neutrons. I'm sure the dark web has a few things here and there. You can probably buy a hydrogen bomb on the dark web. I'm not going to say you can, it's going to show up at your doorstep, and that I'm not going to say you're going to get away with it, but you can buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Well, anyways. I'm, what are we going to do now with this alcohol? I mean, we could try mixing it with the pop. All right. Just, I'm not taking a shot of that. Ever again. Okay, I have quite a bit in there, so I'll have to mix quite a bit of this in there. Just, yeah, no no shots. Okay, that's quite a bit. That's like that much gin and like that much... Yeah, I can smell the gin. <laughs> I can smell the gin. <laughs> There's... Trash can, in case you vomit again. Oh. Bad? Not too bad. It's better. But, I mean, that's a lot of fluid just to drown out the gin. Yeah. Well, this is a disappointment. We should have gone to an actual bar. And paid six? (laughs) We should have just bought the vodka. Yeah. Spent one more dollar, bought the vodka. You could have been down in shots of vodka right now and be <laughs> the high as hell. I don't even know why that is so bad. That's what the water bottle told me. And well, re, re, go on like Google and do and look up like why is gin so bad? Yeah, why is gin so bad? Right. So World War Three. Um, so India. Had some soldiers get killed by China. Mm-hmm. And so now the whole thing's... Uh, why is So Jen's bad. So gross. Oh, there you go. That works. Come on. Oh, okay. And why all around people have been losing their <clears throat> words... In various ways. I couldn't be more confused. I thought it was completely accepted that gin was 
towards the alcohol would be somehow well it's not okay, whatever. It just reeks. Is this an answering the question? This is just a blog. Here wait 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 wait. Uh I look up that one. See what Reddit actually say. Is it bad? It has a lot of acceptable uses, but almost always. Oh, what the block? You ever just want to drink? But shooting gin is just bizarre. Well, apparently you <laughs> can't even do it. Yeah. Don't don't take a, a shot of gin. That is a wait 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 look look up a look up a, a shot of gin. To type that into Google, see what happens. Gin. With lime. See, I was right. You didn't put lime in mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put lime in mine. Well, you want to try it again? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, I put lime. Wait, 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 wait. What would your reaction be if you took a shot of gin? Let's see what this person said. If they had a similar reaction. A pint never, <laughs> never, ever having it again. <laughs> I, I think I've said it before or something. A kid to licking a pine tree. <laughs> Gosh darn it! Uh, oh yeah, we can't say that. But, one. the first time I tasted gin. Definitely never, ever having it again. <laughs> well, jeez! Why isn't there somebody in the aisle telling me, wait, hey, don't wait, wait, buy wait, gin? I have had a shot Why of gin before. Why would you shoot gin? I probably I would. You. <laughs> you. Yeah, don't don't take a shot of gin. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Never again. To be fair, I think you did it too slow. Are you kidding me? I like <laughs> dumped it in my mouth. We're also not using actual. We're also not using proper. <laughs> The Sandwich Street bars are going to close. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have no more visitors. Because I'm going to tell them, and I'm going to give them the worst review <laughs> I've ever been. The bartender forced me to have a shot of gin, even though he knew it was a bad the idea. The only alcoholic beverage that I got to have at this bar <laughs> was gin. gin. There is no and Everclear. There is no vodka. And they had nothing. There is no whiskey. There is no bourbon. And the only thing they had to mix it with tonic water, lemon, Pepsi. Lime juice. And Gatorade. <laughs> you need to drink more. Yeah, we're gonna go out of business. Well, I mean, to be fair, we don't. We can retry this. Not with gin. Right. We'll buy vodka next time. I still don't think I want to do this on camera. Drinking or like, cause like I wanted to film the whole thing. Oh yeah, you did. Cause that's like the whole point of the video. Well, the first part of the video is pretty much just... Ay, ay, ay. You vomiting. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay. Well, if we can't get you drunk tonight, then... Yeah. Actually, you know, I'll go home. I'll come back, and I'll, you'll call... you tell me in the morning, I'm hungover. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on my way. I'm on my <laughs> way. <laughs> Stay hungover. Stay hungover? Oh, my gosh. We were, I was going to have you take a shot of gin in the morning. Oh, my God. Oh, well, that yeah, might fix yeah. it. Oh, yeah, you're going to have me take, what, gin and orange juice? Yeah, that might have fixed it. <laughs> well, yeah, well, okay, so vi it. vodka and orange juice is a screwdriver. What is gin and orange juice? A drill. <laughs> a drill. <laughs> a drill. <laughs> a freaking drill. Oh, my gosh. 
So yeah, all in all, my week was pretty... I thought I had a lot of stuff to talk about, but I guess not. That was more interesting than it was, but uh, that's fine. Most of this was just you vomiting anyways. Anyways, there's more to talk about in this podcast. Um, do you want to put your mask on or do you still smell like vomit? I don't smell like vomit. Do I smell like vomit? I don't know. I don't want to smell. <laughs> We're going to have to take the trash out. Otherwise, it's going to smell like vomit down here. Oh, 